Yummy, this is so good. Sharper video, better motion, and more control. VO 3.1 just dropped in free pick. Wait. You're like for real about this? This is a massive improvement. How so, Eric? This is so good. Well, for a few reasons. Characters now <laughs> stay consistent no matter the scene. Let's party! So that means you can now add your own character to any video being created. On top of that, we can now use start frame and end frame images. Now all you need is an annual premium plus and pro subscription. And if you don't have one of these subscriptions, there's actually a link in my description below that will give you an additional large discount. And today I also have an amazing prompt generator. This is specifically crafted for VO 3.1. Okay, so here we are now in free pick. Now on the left hand side, you'll see the new options available. We have our start image and our end image. The other thing that's amazing is that we can also add our new characters now. You can either use the pre-generated ones that FreePick already has, or as you can see, I already have my own characters I've been creating up here. So to begin this process and to really show you the impressiveness of what this update has in store, let's first quickly generate a video from a prompt I found on this X profile right here. And then from there, we're gonna go ahead and try this prompt generator. Okay, so here is the first prompt generator right here. And now there are some key things to keep in mind, and that's exactly what this prompt generator is I'm about to give you after generating this video. Now again, this is pretty impressive, but you'll notice right here a few things that VO 3.1 does very well. I'm going to have text generated. We'll also have some sound effects, but then you'll notice a few bracketed text with the word cut. That's going to allow VO 3.1 to immediately cut to the next scene based on what your description is. So let's quickly copy and paste this prompt and try it in real time. So now back in free pick, here we go. There is my model. Now down here below, let's go ahead and paste the prompt in. So first I'll go ahead and generate this prompt with just the basic character it gives me. But then let's also regenerate it with one of my own created characters just to see how good of a job it could actually do when using my character. So down here below, we can click the resolution. We have 1080 and 720. And then we have the duration four six and eight okay sound effects leave on and now let's go ahead and generate this one now again since we're already here i'll also do the same thing but now in the upper left hand corner i will open up my character and i'll choose this influencer cherry right here as my character and now i'll generate this one to see if it could generate the same video but now this time it should have my own created character. Okay, so while these two videos are thinking, let me now show you this incredible prompt generator. So now if we head over here into my prompt generators database, now prompt generator is a prompt that generates prompts. Right now I'm in my AI images one. Let's go to the AI video selection. These are gonna be prompt generators for video. For this one specifically, I need to choose the one that says cut scenes right here. Now, as I open this up, you'll see what is so impressive about this prompt. Get this prompt generator via the links in the description, plus thousands of other prompts and databases. Because what it does after you paste it into an LLM, in this case, we'll be using chat GPT, you're going to get a series of 10 prompts. One through five will create cinematic realism. Prompts six to 10 are going to give you alternate realities, just complete, unique, and creative. And you can specifically see that right here where it says prompts one through five and and prompts six through 10. Each prompt should consist of multiple scene segments divided by cut, just like that. So let's go ahead and copy the whole entire thing just like this. And as a quick reminder, these prompts and any prompts I share in my videos are always available free via the links in the description. All right, so first let's come back over here in the free pick and check out these two videos that we just generated. Let's first click the first one and then we'll look at the second one and I can tell right off the bat that is definitely my character and the spelling is accurate. Here is this first one right here. <laughs> Wow, now that one was really good. Kudos to the creator of this one. All right, now back in free pick again. Let's look at the second one, and now this time with my AI influencer. <laughs> wow, very impressive. The text is accurate, and it got my character right. 
Okay, now moving on, let's go ahead and open up ChatGPT for this new prompt generator. Brand new chat opened up. There is the full prompt just like that. Go ahead and paste it in. And then at the very bottom, it's simply gonna ask you for a brief description or the subject you want, okay? There it is right there. What subject or description would you like me to create 10 VO3.1 multiple scene prompts for? Okay, now go ahead and generate that. Let's see what this comes up with. Now remember, the first five are gonna be focused more on a cinematic realism style. Prompts six through 10 are gonna go completely unique and creative. Okay, so look at that right here. We get prompt one, zero G flavor. And again, look, I get everything I want. We even get those meta tokens. But look, there is a cut scene right there and another cut scene that's gonna quickly cut to a close up. Okay, so we get the first five right here. But now right here, six through 10, surreal and genre bent interpretations. We're going to get a cosmic feast, surreal dream, and now they're going to get a lot more creative and a lot more unique. Okay, so I'll go ahead and generate a few of these, then we'll come back and see how good of a job these all did. Hey guys, you're going to love this. Wow, now I have to say, those are incredible. Okay, last but not least, let's come back over here into Free Pick one more time, and let's just quickly see how good of a job it does when using start and end images, and maybe even adding, let's say, an object, okay? So we're gonna go with the start image, and I'll go with one of my creations. We'll start with like this woman in front of these supercars, and now let's go ahead and add a second one. And now for this one, I'll select this car that looks like it's driving, okay? I'll use this as the image. That way it's somewhat comparable. Now for my prompt, it's automatically creating a video prompt for me over here on the left hand side. So let's go ahead and go with that, okay? We'll just see what happens with these two images being used. While okay. this is thinking, let's work on another one. And on the next one, we'll use a specific object and also a character. So for the character, we're gonna go with one of my originals. Here we have Luna right here. Okay, and now for the object, let's select object. And now I do have some I've already created. We're gonna go with this Dior purse I made. There we have that. And now let's change up the prompt. And now a simple prompt, a woman holding a purse walking in a modern mega mall and she's shopping. Okay, let's go ahead and generate this one as well. We have my character and my object ready to go. Okay, so we got one video successfully done. However, I will admit this is getting a little bit more frustrating because I keep getting my failed generations for moderation purposes. Now back in free pick, this one at the very top went well, but right here below where I said a vibrant wide shot of a woman in the parking lot, then I wanted it to just quickly cut to her driving the vehicle in like that desert. Google blocked the request due to moderation. Now look at this. If I scroll down, look at how many of these I've been getting in a row. Now again, this isn't free picks fault. It's just Google's moderation. And to be honest, none of these have anything that's going to be a little bit suspect. It's all just generic images, walking or driving a car. Okay. So let's go a lot more safer with the image end and start frame. Up in the top left hand corner this time we're just going to use scenery only okay slow zoom bird's eye view then let's have a transition to a car driving in the driveway okay now i could really perfect this prompt and make it much better but i don't want to spend much time i just first want to test it to see if i can get at least one of these videos generated now while this one's thinking let's go ahead and open this one up Okay, that one was very good, actually. I mean, everything was perfect. It got my character. My character consistency was great. The music, and let's make sure that she is carrying that black purse. Okay, it looks like she is carrying it. Kind of hard to tell. She looks like she's carrying two purses. Let me rewind this a little bit. But there it is. She's wearing one purse on her shoulder. But then again, in her bottom hand right here, it does look to be like she's holding that black Dior purse. So again, I mean, this one did do fairly well. Now, it looks like this one is two minutes away from being generated. We'll see how this turns out using my start and end frame images. Once it's done, we'll take a quick look.
But there you have it, VO 3.1, now in free pick. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And remember, if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe, cause I'm a prom star. Come and get in my car, your dreams are never far. Subscribe to the Mules channel, is so cool. If it's the last thing you do, subscribe to Metrics Mule. Yes, I got the tips, tons of prompts and